Higgsfield just released another heavy hitter, and this one hands you full cinematic control to craft. Hollywood level movies using, and let's break down what it's capable of. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Saved Christmas a thousand times. You're not even real! Maybe this time, let Christmas save you. Um. I'm Santa. So, Higgsfield just launched Cinema Studio, and it's insane. Cinema Studio is Higgsfield's professional cinematic pipeline for AI video production. Instead of jumping straight into animation, it mirrors the real filmmaking process, beginning with story and composition, then moving through camera configuration, shot selection, and finally intentional camera motion. You're not simply typing a prompt and hoping it works. You're selecting the camera body, the lens, the focal length, the shot type, and how the camera moves within the scene. That's why the results feel cinematic, stable, and purposeful. In this video, I'll guide you through the full Cinema Studio workflow, step by step, to create an entire cinematic sequence using just one prompt. Let's begin. The very first step in Cinema Studio is generating a single cinematic image. This image becomes the foundation for the entire film, every camera angle, every shot, and all animation that follows. So before we generate anything, let's review the image settings, because these choices genuinely matter. At the bottom, you'll find a box where you can paste your prompt. If you click here, first, we have camera options. These are cinema-grade cameras commonly used in real film productions. You can choose from cameras like Red V Raptor, Sony Venice, or an IMAX film camera. For this walkthrough, I'm selecting Red V Raptor. This camera delivers a clean, modern cinematic aesthetic and works perfectly for dramatic scenes like this battlefield environment. Next, we have lens options. This is where you truly define the character of the shot. Some available lenses include Lens Baby, Hawk V Light, Canon K35, and Zeiss Ultra Prime. I'll go with Zeiss Ultra Prime. Next, we choose the focal length. You'll usually see options like 14mm for extreme wide shots, or 24mm for classic cinematic wides. For this scene, I'm choosing 24mm. This creates a wide cinematic frame, strong environmental scale, and keeps the character clearly framed. It's one of the most widely used focal lengths in filmmaking. I've already written my prompt, and I'm pasting it here. You can also select the image resolution. You can go up to 4K, I'm choosing 4K, which provides more details for cinematic work and keeps the workflow running smoothly. Once everything is set, I'll click Generate. The image initially appears slightly soft while processing, and after a few seconds, it resolves into full 4K cinematic quality. This single image already features proper cinematic composition, a stable main character, consistent lighting, and enough depth for camera motion. Because of this, we can now generate multiple camera angles from one image, just like capturing coverage on a real film set. Now that we have our base cinematic image, the next step is creating multiple camera angles from this single frame. This is called multi-shot generation and it's one of the most powerful features inside Cinema Studio. Instead of rewriting prompts or regenerating scenes from scratch, we treat this like a real film shoot, where one setup produces multiple shots. On the generated image, you'll see an option labeled multi-shot. I'll click that. What Cinema Studio does here is extremely impressive. It automatically captures the same scene from different camera positions and perspectives, while maintaining consistent characters, lighting, and environment. From a single image, it generates nine different shots. These include wide establishing shots, medium shots, close-ups, and different angles like front, side, and over-the-shoulder perspectives. This closely resembles how a real film crew shoots coverage on set. Now, you don't need to use all nine shots. 
The goal is to choose the strongest frames that we'll later animate. After selecting a few shots, you can upscale them. Upscaling is important because it enhances clarity, sharpens cinematic detail, and prepares the images for video animation. I'm only upscaling the shots I plan to use, this keeps the workflow efficient. Now that we have our base image and multiple cinematic shots, let me show you something incredible. Now I'm going to select this shot as my reference image. I'm choosing this frame because the character is fully visible, the environment is well established, the horizon and background remain stable, and it feels like a true movie still, not an action beat. Now, let's turn our images into video. I'll choose the first image we generated as the starting frame, and Cinema Studio automatically switches into video mode. Let me quickly explain the options you see here, because this is where you actually direct the scene. First, we have camera movements. These aren't random animations. These are real cinematic camera motions, similar to what you'd use on a professional film set. You can choose options like static handheld, zoom in or out, palm left or right, tilt up or down, orbit, dolly in or dolly out. Once you've selected the camera movement, next, we choose the shot duration. I'm setting this to 5 seconds. 5 seconds is ideal for a dramatic cinematic moment, long enough to feel intentional, but not overly slow. Next, you can toggle audio on or off. For this shot, I'll keep audio enabled, so we get natural ambient sound. I'm leaving slow motion off for now. I want this moment to feel grounded and realistic. You can also choose the batch size, which determines how many variations are generated at once. I'll leave this at default so we can focus on one clean cinematic result. Now, let's add a short video prompt, cinematic video of a lone male medieval warrior standing on a ruined battlefield. Smoke drifts through the air, torn flags flap in the wind, small fires flicker on muddy ground. The warrior slowly steps forward, gripping a blood-stained sword, armor worn and dirty. Dark overcast sky, dramatic clouds, subtle camera push-in, shallow depth of field, ultra-realistic, gritty medieval war film, muted colors, 16 to 9, slow motion, epic atmosphere. Once everything is set, I'll click generate. Cinema Studio now uses the reference image as the anchor and animates the scene using the selected camera movement. Now that we have our first cinematic shot, we can repeat this process with other reference images to construct a full sequence wide shots, close-ups, and reaction shots. So that's the complete workflow. We started with a single prompt. From that, we created a cinematic image, generated multiple camera angles, and transformed that image into a full cinematic sequence. And just like that, you can build an entire cinematic sequence, shot by shot, all from one prompt. The best part is that image and video generation happen in one place, without switching tools. If you're passionate about cinematic storytelling, film style ads, or short films, Higgsfield Cinema Studio is one of the most advanced AI workflows available right now. You'll find the link in the description if you want to try it yourself.